What new thing is God doing with us? What new or renewed ministry or mission is God calling us into as we live into this new reality? My name is Beth Jones. I currently serve as the pastor at the Dorenston United Methodist Church on the Wilkes-Barre District of the Wyoming Annual Conference. And my name is Timothy Baer, and I currently serve as superintendent of the Chambersburg District of the Central Pennsylvania Conference. And together, Beth and I co-chair the Vision Team, a team that was brought together by Bishop Hassinger and Bishop Middleton to create a new vision for our new annual conference. The team is composed of six or seven persons from each of the annual conferences, and together we bring unique gifts to the table in discussion as we try to discern a new vision into which we can live. It's that discernment that led us to find a scriptural foundation for our work together. Our first meeting as a vision team led us to bring together different scriptures that we felt reflected our journey together. We settled on Isaiah 43 that to us gave us a sense of both the chaos and the hope uh, that we have been and will be experiencing as we move together into a new thing. As you see in the document before you, that scripture also became a foundation for some of the mission, the vision, the core values, and the guiding covenant that we hope will provide for our leadership a foundation as they move forward into a new thing in their respective areas. As a result of our engagement with the foundational vision document, it was discerned that a Bible study would be a good a way to go to bring us all on board with living into the vision. Our own Mike Bialo, who served in Wyoming Annual Conference and currently serves as in Central Pennsylvania Conference, uh, wrote the Bible study, Living Into the Vision. Currently, our cabinet is using that document as a, as a way of uh, focusing in our devotional life. Our church is using it as well as we've gathered a group together uh, to look at it, and perhaps your church is using it as well. Another thing that was discerned out of the uh, vision uh, team was that we needed to have some leadership events that, that would bring all the leadership on board as we move into the future. And so, on February 28th, we had an event bringing together leadership from Wyoming Annual Conference and the leadership from Central Pennsylvania Annual Conference in the various boards and agencies to, to converse about how we move into the future using the best that we have to offer from both of our histories and also identifying the best into the new future. We're also looking forward to August 29th when we're going to invite those leadership uh, folks back together again uh, to check in to see where everyone is, how they are using the document, and how uh, we are doing living into the vision together as we uh, seek to form this new conference. And then we plan for another gathering in January of bringing the leadership back together again as we continue to live into this new uh, annual conference and the change that will result. As our vision team continued to meet, we also discerned that there would be a need for a name for our new annual conference. As we listened to folks throughout our two annual conferences through listening sessions and informational sessions, there was one name that continued to emerge above all others, and that was the name Susquehanna. There are many reasons for identifying a new name at this point in our journey together. One of those reasons is legal. Uh, as uh, legal documents are prepared, corporation papers are prepared, it will be uh, easier to have a name that can be used and identified at this point. Another reason is by discerning a name now, then our uniting conference next year can be one of celebration. And another reason it has to do with communication. How we communicate with each other and how we communicate with the world around us will be greatly enhanced by identifying a name into which we can live. The image of water has always been very powerful for people of faith throughout the ages. The cleansing, the renewal, all that water brings into our lives help us connect with this image of the river. The Susquehanna River Basin is one that flows significantly through most of what will be our new annual conference. 
And that image of the river flowing through our lives and God's Holy Spirit flowing through our work together is one that we believe will be a powerful image that we can live into as a new annual conference. As a result, the vision team proposes that the name of our new annual conference be the Susquehanna Annual Conference of the United Methodist Church. This journey together in the vision team has been a wonderful time together. We have been seeking to follow God's Spirit moving into this new annual conference. And as a vision team, we've been trying to model a discernment process. Beth and colleagues, it has been a real joy to work together in this task. We look forward to a new annual conference that is motivated by God's Spirit into a new time for all of us. It's been an exciting journey of faith for all of us who have been involved on this vision team and who have been a part of what has been a new type of leadership, a new type of discernment for all of us. We're excited and joyful to see God's hand working as uh, we move forward together in faith.